Kaitiaki is our sustainable dairying program. It comes from the word kaitiakitanga. It's all about guardianship or stewardship of the land. We would like every Fonterra farm to have a farm environment plan by 2025. And the idea of these plans is all based around risk management and good farming practices. So where the farm is already at good farming practice, these plans will document that and then they'll put actions around different features where the farm might need to make certain improvements to get to that good farming practice. So we spend about three or four hours on farm with the farmer. We might have a look at soil tests, their nitrogen fertiliser plan. The farmer will, will talk around different risk areas that they've identified on farm, as well as me just getting a bit of an understanding of their farming system, as well as risk areas that the farmer would like to improve. And then from there, we have a bit of a drive around the farm, looking at those areas that we've already talked about usually starting at the effluent system and then continue around the rest of the farm looking for those risk features on farm. And then we'd talk around the risk rating of a certain area while we're there, what sort of actions the farmer would like to take and I can suggest some if they're unsure what to do and then obviously talk about time frames of when they want to achieve that by. And then it takes us about a day back in the office using our GIS tool to spatially map those features, put descriptions and actions around them and then from this GIS tool that Tiaki Farm Environment Plan pulls from there. Working with Anna, our sustainable dairy advisor from Ontario has been fantastic. She's put a lot of work and effort and hours into it for us and it's just brilliant to have it all in one document. We can easy to visual, easy to see, easy to work with. We know where we're going, where we're going to, how we can improve ourselves. So where there might be actions around minimum standards of supply, those are generally actions that we would have a pretty tight time frame on. For other actions that are getting them up to good farming practice, and that might be a little bit lower risk on that risk rating, we'd talk to the farmer about those and together decide on an action. We try and where we can put practical solutions around some areas. A lot of farmers I have found have actually said it's good to have a second pair of eyes looking at an issue because quite often we've been able to come up with practical low-cost solutions that the farmer hadn't realised were an option and they were thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to spend all this money. I think everyone will have a farm plan one day, um, but it's got to be a working document, we've got to keep on going back to it and uh, keep on updating it. These are live documents and we can adapt them at any point, which is great because as new things come in in this ever-changing space, we can include those in the farm environment plan. We've started this process about 18 months ago, so a lot of the farm plans that we've done at the moment have been either catchment-based for catchment groups that collectively have farm environment plans, or it might be for farmers who are really engaged in that sustainability space and recognise this as a key thing for their farm. Uh, the next five years, for us, our catchment is going to be a review. TRP is going to give us some evidence that we're doing the right things for the environment and as a Fonterra farmer, it's important for us to keep that going. It's a holistic document. You know, your whole farm from a sustainability, environmental perspective is, is documented in here. The good farming practices are documented and any actions that are within the next, you know, one to 10 years are in there as well. So for things like the Balanced Farm Environment Awards, this is a pretty cool document to have that sets out your plan for the next few years. Last season we achieved 1,000 farm environment plans and this year we're on target to meet our next yearly target and work towards that 2025 goal.